Hey guys, this is a quick tutorial showing you how to download apps for your iPad, whether it's a Facebook app, YouTube, or any other app. Um, basically, you're going to have to go into your App Store. Okay, so, so just search for it. If you don't see it right away, you can always scroll to the side. So just swipe your finger from left to right, and you're going to see the search bar. From here, you can just type in App Store. Okay, and then you can just click on the top on the top one. Okay, and then you're gonna open up your app store. You might might not see it on the screen right away. Right now, it's on featured, so it usually does open up in this page right now. Um, you, what the way that you wanna look for apps, uh, especially if you don't wanna pay for any, um, you want the free ones or the top the top ones. Um, it's always just go to scroll down in featured and you're gonna click on new to the app store okay so just tap on that and you're gonna see the main ones that people use uh, whether they're free or um, paid for so right here if you scroll down you're gonna see Facebook YouTube and other ones um, for now I'm not gonna go through those you can just tap on the install button or the one that says free right here so for example I don't have this one right now this one says open since I ha already have these two on my iPad um, this one if I wanted to download it uh, which I will right now just to show you guys so you just tap on free first okay and then tap on install app okay at this point you would need an Apple ID okay so remember that before anything um, if you don't have one you can just make one up uh, right now you can just uh, create a new account and that's about it once you did do that um, you can just click on OK and download the app um, right now I'm just gonna click cancel on that okay so um, the way you guys want to download apps and get the free ones for, for your iPad just go to top charts right down here to start tap on that just gonna let it load so on one side it will tell you the top ones that are paid for and the free ones okay a lot of the free ones are not that great um, however there are many free ones that are actually good so you have to go and see what type of apps you want so you can just scroll down on your free um, and all these won't cost you a cent okay um, some free ones are trials so they will only work for 14 days or so um, and other ones are just free forever so that's the good thing about these or you can always upgrade to the pro version um, usually they make the basic version and then you have to upgrade to the pro version if you really do like the app which is good um, that they make that so because uh, a lot of people that I know they always upgrade once they like the app um, now let's say you don't want games to look at games so you're just gonna tap on all categories right now just let that load up and you're gonna look for what you want so let's say you want something to do with music apps to do with music so you just tap on music and they're gonna load up once again you're gonna see the paid ones and the free ones uh, for example this one's uh, one to listen to radio uh, that's GarageBand we all know what GarageBand is um, you can scroll down once again if you want you want just the free ones just look at the right side and that's it just tap on any free one that you like um, I do have a separate video showing you how to create an Apple ID without using any credit card information so you can look that up in my channel just subscribe and look for it in my channel um, that's basically how you look for apps around your um, iPad and you can see the free ones and paid ones um, there's a lot of social networking ones that are free uh, most of them, the good ones are actually free so here you can see Facebook, Twitter and all these other ones um, if you scroll down okay so that's basically it that's how you look and download apps from your app store um, once you download them you will see them on your screen and so all these are the ones that I downloaded you can organize them from there into folders or do anything you want if you want to erase one let's say you download it and you want to erase it you can just hold your finger on top of one till you see them like this moving around and then you can just tap on here on the X once you tap on the X you have deleted the app it will 
actually show your message saying are you sure you want to delete it and then you can just put delete okay so just in case you do it by mistake same thing if you want to move them around um, you can just from this point you can just hold your finger on top of one and just move it to another position okay and then just drop it just uh, let go your finger and you move it to another position um, so that's how you play around with your apps if you want to get out from this and not delete or move any apps just uh, tap on your home button once and everything will go back to normal so that's about it guys if you guys have any questions comments please don't forget to rate and just subscribe below thank you